Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations and today is Saturday the 15th of April. I was about to say March. So it's the 15th of April. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ugh. Let me get some water out of my Harry Potter cup. <laughs> All right, so <sighs> I've been doing my taxes today. I needed a break. Oh my word. So anyway. <laughs> Hi all my subscribers, new and old. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated. So not only can you find me on YouTube, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Pinterest. I have lots of uh, crocheted items free patterns and stuff over on Pinterest. So head over there and hit that follow button and look around and see what you like. I am, oh, let's see. I can't remember now. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I'm almost done with what I'm about to show you. But if you remember last Saturday, um, I put a video up because my middle daughter, Amanda, and I were like, man, you know, we've got this yarn. It's just been sitting. I haven't used it in so long. So we challenged ourselves to just get some of the older yarn that we've had probably sitting in a bin, uh, this lady here, for, you know, over a year. We're like, let's do something with it. So um, she'll be posting. She does not have a YouTube channel. And I did not see her. I mean, I saw her twice this week, but it was in between work. I had to go to the main office and her house is right down there right down the street I always have to pop in and say hi but um so anyway <laughs> distraction so we are doing we're just trying to use up as much yarn as we possibly can um I love buying yarn I love everything about yarn I'm gonna always buy it because I think I've earned it um I love working I love crafting and I love that crocheting is something that keeps me um you know kind of sane and um grounded and balanced so, you know, it truly is therapy for me because I've, I've, I've been on this, um, this like emotional food journey for most of my life. And when my hands are filled with yarn and I'm creating, it makes it less likely for me to overeat. So, and I've managed to lose another four pounds this week. So I'm super excited about that. It's just the little steps, you guys, just the little steps. So because I know me and I know I'll probably buy more yarn when I'm out shopping around if I see something I like, I thought, and so did Amanda, like, let's use up as much as we can, um, you know, un until then. <laughs> so, so last Saturday, I showed you guys some uh, sweet roll cakes. Man, I wish I had another one. So I only had four. It was it was definitely a sweet roll. I saved the I've been saving the wrappers and my other bags full. Um, this one was or these were uh, peaches and cream pop. That's what they're called, or that's what it was called. Let's see, 245 yards. This was the five ounce ball, and it is 100% acrylic. So I already knew what I was going to make. I mean, I, I, I had an idea. And yes, it's another cardigan. But um, my daughter asked me to make her one. She loved the colors. When I showed her what I was using, she was like, oh, yeah, when you're done, that's mine. So <laughs> I told her, okay, measure your arms. I need to know how long you want it or whatever. So it isn't completely done. Um, and you know, it was the day before Easter, so I didn't even work on, I didn't do any crocheting. Easter was so much fun because we had this great thing going on at church. And then we came home and we ate and watched 10 commandments. Gotta do that. I love watching that movie. And we were just sitting there watching it. It's just, you know, it's making memories and remembering older memories and stuff with my family and especially my mom. Um, so yeah, so that was fun. Um, and then, you know, I was just like really busy. So I was able to finally pick it up again on Wednesday of last week. And I finished, you know, the majority of it, I finished it the other day. So I wanted to show you, um, I did have to use because I didn't have enough. So this was the closest that I could get. And it was Amanda approved. The color is called mango and it's an, I love this yarn. I love this yarn and mango. 
and we did it. I hear footsteps. Hold on. It's my Abby. She's been spending the, she spent the night with her brother. Hi, babe. Hi. You want to pop in and say hi to everybody? Uh, no. She's like, no. Are you sure? Yeah. She's like, yeah, I'm sure. I gotta go and open my pillow. Okay. <laughs> Another package. I think that we are keeping Amazon in business. <sighs> another package it's a big box this time so anyway let's get back to this jacket so um amanda likes the uniqueness she didn't want me to color control anything um that's another thing that i love about my children when i make something for them i don't give her the option but you know if she says mom i don't like that this has got too much ivory and this has you know too much or what she they never say that they're just like yeah just make it so look i haven't even weaved in my ends i I seriously just finished this and I have to you see how long those arms are Amanda has long arms I don't have to do this for Abby because it's just like she doesn't like being called short but um because Amanda is 5'7 she's just got longer arms so I had her measure it so that I would make sure that I was not um it was not too short for her and she also had me um so I I added rose. Now, it's not exactly the same color, but it's pretty darn close. And she loves it. And to me, to this mama, that's all that matters is that she loves the way it looks. Um, coral is her all-time favorite color. And um, peachy, corally, you know. So I cannot wait to see her on this or with this on. I'll take pictures and post them. So I've just got to, yeah, I've got all my little stragglers. I've got a... Um, weave everything in. She didn't want any buttons. She just wanted something she could throw on when she gets cold. And this is what we came up with. So we by me and then, you know, I always check back with her. But I love it. I think it's just so neat. So she's making, um, she's using her leftover yarn. Some of the colors, I think it was orange and yellow maybe. But she's making me a bag. She makes the coolest little bags with straps. And, you know, because I deal with files all the time and paperwork. I said, just make it big enough for me to put like an eight and a half by 11 um, file or papers in there and I can just take it to work with me every day. Eee! I can't wait for it to be done. So um, we'll, I'm gonna show, <laughs> I, I will show more yarn um, soon in the next couple of days for another Saturday. So I, I would like to do this on Saturdays. Um, I was hoping Amanda would pop in, but she's doing yard work today, and I I got to get some yard work done too. Um, it's just stacked out in front of the yard, and it's supposed to storm today. Go figure. <laughs> but um, and I still didn't find out what my yarn was. That yarn that I had when I was working on that front post and back post hat, and I don't have anything even close. It's such. I wish I could explain. Um, it just feels, it feels really nice, but I'll figure it out. I will. But anyway, this was my Saturday yarn challenge with my daughter, Amanda. And that's what I made her. It's going right to her. As soon as I get everything weaved in, this, this will be gone. <laughs> and, you know, I'll make as many of these cardigans as someone will ask me. So, you know, if my daughter, Jessica said, mom, make me a cardigan, I'll make her one. Um, Abby has, I think Abigail's got just three or four now. And I've had so many of you guys asking me about um, the green one that I made for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I probably won't wear that again, but I, you're like, are you going to list that in your shop? Because I did mention that I wasn't, I probably wouldn't wear it again. Um, I, I am uncomfortable doing that, you guys, because I don't feel like... I don't feel like it's it's good enough to sell to someone. Um, I know that sounds weird to you, but I, I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. <laughs> but I don't want it sitting in my closet either. So I'll, I'll figure it out. You know, maybe I'll do a giveaway or something. And, you know, one lucky winner will who really wants it will win. Um, and just remember, I wear a 1618. So um, it was a little bit smaller for me, a little bit small, but... You know, you you would have to be if it for was for you or a gift, uh, probably fourteen to sixteen would be ideal. I I would think would probably fit nice, um, <clears throat> and you might want to add buttons to it or something. But I mean, I just I just don't know. I mean, I make these. I love the way they look, but you know, when when you know all those people were like, "Were well, you gonna sell that? Are you gonna list that in your shop?" And I thought, 
I don't think so. I hadn't really, I hadn't really thought about it. I have to really take a look at it to make sure. Um, but I, I don't know. I'll, I'll let you guys know what I decide to do. I really will. Um, there was one woman that was um, particularly interested. She's the one that sent me a message first. I will find you and I know who you are and you know who you are. So if you're really serious, let me look at it and then we'll, we'll figure something out because, you know, I don't want it sitting and, um, and the greens were just beautiful. I mean, they are, but I'll, I'll probably never wear it again. I only did it for that one day and I had it on for like two hours. <laughs> so anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to like really go on and on about the cardigan, but I really love making these and I love that you guys are showing me pictures of your cardies. And, and I mean, among everything, among other things that you guys are making on the Facebook. So if you guys are not part of our Facebook group, there's only one question you need to answer. Hop on over there because you're missing out. There are so many talented people that are listing um, or showing listing. They're showing all of their works and, you know, um, free patterns, yarn sales where, you know, people are like, hey, how many how many chains did you start with? So, you know, we're we're lifting each other up and we're giving each other um, ideas on things. It's just such a great group of people. They're very talented and they're they're just sweet and loving. So if you're not hop on over there and and um, get on there, get on the bandwagon with us, will ya? I mean, come on, I'm stepping all over it. I just made a big mess. So anyway, that's my Saturday challenge that I did with my daughter. When I get that bag, I'll definitely show it to you guys, but I wanted to get on here and um, show you what I made. And it was, again, sweet rolls. So if you have some, like four sweet rolls, it'd be perfect. And maybe one extra. <laughs> maybe one extra color so you know five sweet rolls would have been perfect i think that would have been enough to do the strands because it's long or the the rows at the bottom to give it some length and then um the all the cuffs on the sleeves so and you know i didn't use all of this probably half of it what is how, let me see how much is this it's 355 yards so there's plenty left and i'm done i'm just gonna cut it off and weave all the ends in and hand it over to Amanda. So um, if you guys have any questions, you you know, feel free to put it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer you best that I can. But, you know, sometimes I forget stuff. But this is just a, a basic hexy cardi. So easy peasy, man. I'm telling you, they're so, so easy to make, you guys. If you've never made one, you're going to be super surprised and how quickly they work up. And you can use chunky yarn if you want. Now I know it's like spring and gonna be summer and it's gonna be really hot, but you know what? Those things are great for winter time to give away as gifts. So if you wanna get us, uh, have us, you know, ahead of the game to get some made, I say do it. Why not? <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. I'm gonna go. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't seen the video that I was supposed to post yesterday, but I posted it like this morning because my silly phone, I actually, anyway, it was a big, huge, drawn out, dramatic thing. So I got it fixed. <laughs> I was about to lose my mind, but I got it taken care of. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. You have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you when I see you. Happy hooking. Bye-bye.